I'm known for deliberately provoking people. It's just, I guess, because I'm safe in this civilization and people pay me for it. My blog is called Contrary Brin. All my liberal friends think I'm a libertarian. All my libertarian friends think I'm a liberal. So why am I still alive after poking deliberately at Star Wars fans and fans of J.R.R. Tolkien? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to poke at you fans of Dune. I just showed my family the Dino De Laurentiis, David Lynch version from the 1980s. I think it's terrific. A lot of Dune fans hate it. I think that the colors and the textures are very faithful. Frank Herbert liked it. He saw a lot of rushes before he died. And I think it's very, very faithful to the book. So why are people uncomfortable with it? I think it's because of the difference in the storytelling art between a novel where you get deeply immersed, you suspend your disbelief, and in, if you're being guided by a really good novelist, by a really good writer, you can be drawn into devoting your empathy and sense of identification with the characters, the main protagonists, the good guys. And because you're adopting their point of view, on their political situation, on their conflicts. You identify good and evil the way they do. It's a powerful thing. It's an incredibly powerful thing. It's a regular exercise in incredibly potent empathy that you, the readers, engage in. And we're just your guides. We're just your helpers in that regard. But if a really, really good writer like Frank Herbert can get you identifying with Lady Jessica, or with Paul Atreides, then you assume their vendetta against the Harkonnen. Just as you take the side of Aragorn and you don't question some of the very morally questionable things that Aragorn is involved in, or especially the wretched high elves who are responsible. Tolkien said that his, this himself, they're responsible for the whole crisis and the whole war and all the suffering in Middle Earth. Well, in Dune, the movie, you don't have time. David Lynch, no matter how good a director he is, the actors, they don't have time to immerse you in these characters. You can't adopt their point of view. You're watching them from the outside. And something magical that happens in the book cannot happen in the movie. You aren't adopting their point of view. You're not adopting their moral standards. Instead, you're looking at the House of Treaties and its enemies, and you're weighing them fairly from the outside. And although House Atreides' enemies, the Harkonnens and the Emperor, are horrible, and you root for the Atreides to win, you cannot help but realize that Frank Herbert has set you up. He's testing the readers, and only some pass the test and notice that the Atreides themselves are also horrible. Perhaps not horrible personally. The, the Duke is admirable, especially the Duke. But the situation is cooked. It's feudalism. It's oligarchy. It's the old formula that dominated all of our ancestors across 4,000 years of human history, recorded history, and several thousand before that, and now 10,000 into the future in, 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 in Herbert's universe. Anchored in feudalism with its cruel assumptions of limiting the opportunities of those below. And no matter how much better the Atreides are than the Harkonnen, you are still living in a contemporary Western Enlightenment and you still have to be uncomfortable when the Atreides troops dressed like Nazis are going chomp, 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 chomp. And you realize, where would you be under these circumstances? You can pretend that you would be Lady Jessica. You can pretend that you'd be a, a Mentat. But 99.9999999% probability in such a world, you'd be cannon fodder. And it's the same problem you see in Star Wars. The same thing in Lord of the Rings, except among all these people, Tolkien is honest. He lays it out. Herbert's honest. 
He lays it out. It's not their fault that you miss the subtext. And that is that both Lord of the Rings and Dune are warnings.